Well, obviously for us, uh, very disappointing result tonight. I was really proud of our team's effort. I thought we did a lot of good things uh, for, for long stretches. They jumped out on us early in the game, which they do a lot here at home. I thought their pace really knocked us back. Then we settled into the game, and you know, I thought for the next 25, 30 minutes, we really played good basketball. Um, you know, had to, you know, even withstood the run when we got up 50 to 40, and you know they hit us with the run to kind of come at us. We were able to withstand it and hit a couple big shots and get the lead. I think we had a five-point lead with uh, three and change. And give in Indiana credit. You know, they they made plays. They got to the foul line. Uh, they turned us over a little bit during that stretch and um, did the things you need to do to win the game. And that's kind of where we're at right now. We we got a real young group that's trying to learn how to win. And it's uh, sometimes it, it can be tough in a brutal league like the Big Ten. And we're just we're on the right track. We got to continue the effort, and we got to find a way to get over the hump and and start closing some of these games. Chris, um, what was the most dramatic thing that turned it around when Indiana was down ten there at the end, and they they put on that spur? Yeah, I thought we had a couple turnovers during that stretch that led out to some runouts. Um, you know, obviously, there. I think Justin Smith had two offensive rebounds for layups. You know that that you know they they got us with 15 offensive boards. Um, I thought when we got our defense set, we were doing a pretty good job guarding them. When they got us in a broken floor, whether it was a turnover or some kind of fat, that's that's when we had our struggles. You know, with their speed and you know, I just thought to the attrition of the big guys. You know, their physicality. You know, we were in a lot of foul trouble. We we're trying to rotate our bigs, but um, you know, I, I'd have to look at the film, but. You know, a couple, I thought they had some active hands where we had some guys and they had some deflections. A couple times we drove in and they stripped us when we were at the basket. You know, things that if you're trying to win on the road, you got to be able to complete those plays. Um, you, you've been close with a lot of teams and a lot, and a lot of games. Minnesota, you were down like 21, came back and got up to nine or so. Yeah. And, to, and today you're, you're close and you're close to Michigan State. How, how agonizing has that to be that way? It's tough. So close with this young group. Yeah, it's tough because you want them to taste winning, you know, and. We put a lot in this to, you know, you prepare. You don't come here to just lay down and lose. You know, you come into these games, you prepare to win. And, you know, I thought for 35, 37 minutes, whatever it was, you know, I, you, there's going to be ebbs and flows in a game. But to have all those young guys out there on in this venue, I mean, this is one of my favorite venues in all of college basketball. You know, great crowd, great fan base, you know, electric atmosphere. And for, you know, I'm playing a lot of freshmen and sophomores out there for them to come out and execute the way they did and put us in a position to win the game late. There's a lot of positives from that. But now you got to then get over the hump. You know, being close can't be enough. And, you know, it can't be okay to just play really well and lose a close game. And, you know, that's where we're at. We got to go back to the drawing board. We got to learn from this. We got to get a little bit tougher a little bit grittier late, and hopefully the experience of these games will help our guys as we move forward in the conference. You held them without a field goal for seven minutes in the first half. Was Did you think you might get in trouble with your size combined with playing zone? Yeah, I mean, we wanted to switch it up. We're, we're really down on bodies. You know, I got two of my starting perimeter guys out with injury, with Anthony Gaines and Boo Booey. Uh, so we've played a little bit more bigger lineups. We, we've tried to manage the tempo a little mm -hmm. bit just because of numbers. You know, we only dressed eight scholarship guys tonight. You know, so... You know, you have to kind of mix and match. I was really worried about their pace. You know, I've, I've played in here enough to know how fast they can play at home. So we really wanted to try yeah. to manage the tempo. And I thought after, they hit us early. I thought their speed knocked us back. And then I thought once the game settled in, you know, we, we got into a really good rhythm defensively, kept them off balance a little bit, and, um, you know, made it hard on them. They're a good team. They got big, strong guys. They put a lot of pressure on you with their physicality. Yeah. You know, with, with Brunk and Jackson and, and the big guys coming off the bench and Justin now playing as a yeah. wing, um, you know, the physicality can wear you down over the course of the game, but I was proud of our guys for hanging in there. That last look for Nats on the three-pointer, was it kind of executed the way you wanted? So yeah. you got a decent look at it? Yeah, that was the play. You know, we had run that play a little bit earlier in the half and he had gotten a clean look, and I just thought they were really going to be hugging cop, you know, and, and kind of all over Spencer and those guys. and. You know, we thought we might be able to, to get a clean look, and I'd have to look at it, but I thought we got a good look. And you can't fault a guy for missing an open shot. It's part of the game, and I thought we executed that well. It just didn't go for us tonight. Coach, you've had a few games now where you haven't been able to hold a lead late. What do you have to do better to respond to adversity late in the game? Yeah, tougher. Got to be tougher. You know, got to be tougher. You know, you, you got to dig in. You, you got to be at your best on both ends. You got to run your best offense. You got to finish plays. You can't turn it over, and then you got to guard. 
you know, and I thought we gave up a couple easy baskets late. You know, the Jackson lob, you know, was obviously a huge bucket, and then we gave up a couple offensive rebounds. You know, where that's been, and that's overall. I mean, that's 15 offensive rebounds again. You know, and that's been a, with us having the size. And I know our physicality with having young guys, you know, is is not where some of these veteran teams are, but. We got to collectively do a much better job on the glass. You can't keep giving good teams extra possessions. So, but to answer your question, we got to we got to be tougher in the last five minutes, and we got to learn and, and grow and 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 hopefully keep putting ourselves in this position. I mean, that's the good about it. You know, we're we're up late at DePaul. We're up late against in the Hartford game. We're up late here. You know, there's others as well where you got to close the deal, and that was the message to the guys. The effort was worthy of winning. And it's got to hurt us and sting that we're not we're not closing them when it's there. And and we're gonna keep fighting, man. I hope you see that with our group. I mean, these young kids they want to win. They have great attitudes. I love coaching them. I just feel for them tonight because I thought I thought we gave ourselves a great shot to win. And then lastly, you mentioned after the Minnesota game that you know it's kind of breaking news. You had to adjust quickly. Um, how over the past few days have you kind of regrouped and determined what you want this team to look like, being a little shorthanded? Yeah, I mean, I, I thought our guys. I, I really thought we executed really well tonight, you know, the things we did with our motion offense. I thought we ran some good stuff. I thought we got good shots. You know, we're, we're mixing and matches defenses a little bit. There's there's all kinds of crazy lineups that we really didn't practice because we thought we yeah, have Gaines and Bowie. You know, and all of a sudden you don't have those two guys, two starters on the perimeter. It changes your team. You know, and so Robbie's played a little bit more as a wing, so he's had to learn a new position. We didn't have A.J. Turner, you know, in the last game, so now he's back in the mix. I thought he did some good stuff. So we're still evolving, and you know, we, we're going to be this way probably for the for the time being, these eight guys. So hopefully the more they play together and the more we can coach them, we can continue to get cohesive with this group. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, guys.